Shout out to my OG Super Duper Rupert, aka Ratchet Reviews, the OG Ratchet, man, you know what I'm saying, major shout out, but hell yeah, y'all hit that clap button for you, boy, you know what I'm saying, um, let's try to get this video around about like 200 likes, man, you know what I'm saying, y'all already know what to do, boy, I'm about to show y'all some ugly ass shoes, check out the title, in the public opinion, these may be the worst shoes in my clips. I love, I love, trust me, you know what I'm saying, I have no problem with it, I have no problem with none of the shoes I'm about to show y'all, but we just going off, you know what I'm saying, the general opinion, you know what I'm saying, when I, me personally, I don't never give a fuck with a hater we talking about, matter of fact, I got some rules for the trolls in the comment box, rule number one, this is my motherfucking camera, this is my motherfucking channel, bro, I'm finna upload whatever I feel like it, whenever I feel like it. Rule number two, it is YouTube. It, you gotta do you on the tube, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to be me. Don't try to be motherfucking the next man you see, you know what I'm saying? Be you, that's it. Be you on the tube. Yeah, that's what I do, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no right or wrong way to do this shit. Rule number three, if you don't like my video, get the fuck on, bitch! <laughs> get your pissy puss ass around here, man. Do this shit for the mob and the mob only. My OGs, Jengas, and Day Ones, new members alike, you know what I'm saying? But, moving along, with all that being said, man, let's get to into some of these ugly ass kicks, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, probably should start it off with Adidas, because I got two ugly ass Adidas shoes. Um, the everyday struggles, man. You know what I'm saying? And I wore these motherfuckers every day. Throughout my recent couple of struggles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I beat the shit out this shoe. Um I've been seeing they got a little marker out now where you can, you know what I'm saying, mark out the midsole and fix it up, have it looking all nice and new. And that may be what I need to do because the upper's not bad at all. Just a little fuzzy, you know what I'm saying? A little fuzzy up at the toe. These motherfuckers look like straight up Peter Pan shoes, though. You know what I mean? Okay, let me get my other glass out of the way just show y'all the shoes. But hell yeah, man. The everyday struggles. Some good Beatles. Ugly as hell as far as looks. You know what I'm saying? As far as styling goes and all that shit. You, don't get me wrong now. You can put together a pretty decent outfit with them, but... I never did, I never even tried, bro. I just beat the shit out of these shoes. And now, oh my God, look at them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These shits are for comfort and for comfort only. That is it, broski. Hell yeah. But the Uncaged Adidas Ultra Boots, you know what I mean? I would recommend them not at full retail price. Definitely get you some on sale. You know what I mean? And if you watch my Ultimate Boost Breakdown video, I'm keeping it 100% real with y'all, bro. It seems like the cheaper you go with the boost, the more comfortable they are. But, you know what I'm saying? Everything has its little quirks and little drawbacks and pros and cons to it. And another ugly ass shoe I'm finna show y'all, bro. Oh my god. These bitches good and ugly, boy. The Adidas Boost ZG Prime. All black colorway. Got some little gray hits going throughout the shoe, but you know what I'm saying. Got a nice little slab of boost up under there. Got that shit going on. And the outsole squishy as fuck too. And honestly, like all around, all across the board, this this shoe right here is more comfortable than the Yeezy. It's more comfortable than the Ultra Boost I just showed y'all. It's more comfortable than the Human Racers. 
Only thing I don't like is this little strap right here. It kind of dig into your foot and it get irritating. And I actually seen a video, I think it was DJ Hiss. DJ Hiss removed the strap. And that wasn't a bad look at all. You know what I'm saying? These shoes, they're just ugly, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing wrong with these motherfuckers. They're just good and ugly. They price fair. And I'm pretty sure you can find them below retail. But they, they're priced fair. You know what I'm saying? Got a little leather strip on the tongue and all that. You know what I mean? Comfortable as hell. Like I said, these shits are for comfort only. But definitely one of the ugliest and one of the worst shoes in my collection when it comes to fashion. And, you know what I mean? I'm not pulling these out to stun on nobody or nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. These bitches are ugly, bro. Mm. Not to focus too hard on Nike, because I can sit here and give Adidas that smoke all day, but this is another ugly ass shoe in my collection. Now, to this day, to me, this is ugly as hell, man. Like that side, that side, that profile shot pretty sweet. The colorway, pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? You got this gray silver on the others with 3M material, like. I mean, it got potential to be a dope shoe, but it's just a random ass budget model basketball sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Um, when this bitch come out? Yeah, I got these in like 2012, bro. See? And they're a little too small. They're size nine and a half. It was a for sure impulse buy. That's the hardest part of the shoe right there. That part right there get crazy. You know what I'm saying? The inside of the foot kind of remind me of the KD5. And at the time, I think the KD5s was out. The KD5s was hot in that time. These kind of reminded me of the KD5s a little bit. I think that's why I got them. Other than, you know what I'm saying, this little Firebird colorway that's on the bitch pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? I, I like the purple and the pink and how they placed it. But now in 2019, how I feel about the shoe, these motherfuckers trash. I can't sell it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't do shit with it. It's too small. As long as I put it on, it hurt my foot. I have it laced loose as hell. I literally only wore it once, one night in the club, and goddamn, after the club, I took them bitches off, and they've been in a box ever since, bro. Yeah. These motherfuckers trash. Well, not trash, but uh, I mean, y'all let me know in the comment box what y'all fuck with these. It's the Hyper Enforcer XD. So, you know what I mean? Would y'all fuck with these Hyper Enforcers in 2019? You know what I mean? I don't think nobody would, bro. See, if you want to let me know, goddamn, $50 we had these bitches. <laughs> they ain't that bad either. But, yeah, like I was saying, though. I, I probably shouldn't have bought this motherfucker shoe and it's easily one of the worst shoes in my collection. Hell yeah, yeah. And um, I guess we pushing pretty long so to wrap this joint up, let's get into Jordan brand, man. And quick disclaimer before I show y'all this shoe. Bruh. My personal opinion, hands down, is one of my favorite sneakers. You know what I mean? I would, it's my second one. I have a different version of it. Uh, uh, I think I got, I literally got the OG of this shoe downstairs somewhere. Um, when it released a retro, I had to have it. Like, I fucks with the shoe heavily. But, like I said in the beginning of the video, this video is based off general public popular opinion you know what i'm saying and it ain't too many people that fucks with this shoe like i fucks with this shoe bro i may be like one of the only people the only seven people in the entire world that fucks with this shoe like i fucks with this shoe but my god this is it right here you know what i'm saying my top three favorite silhouettes um Right now, for sure, for sure, the 7 and the 15 is a easily locking in for my top three. And 
that that third spot always floats in between ones, threes, sixes, and fives. I can't make my fucking mind up, bro. I know it sounds a little weird, but honestly, shit. I mean, if I'm going off my personal nostalgia and my own personal story, shit, I could, I could really put these stealth twenties in there. Cause these shits really, really mean a lot to me too. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if I was to make Davies top three, it'd be this 15, the Air Jordan 7, and yeah, that third spot I always float, boy, I can't make it up. But niggas do not fuck with this shit, and I don't know why. Like, I'm looking at it in the LCD, looking at it in my hand right now. This joint look pretty slick, man. The shape of it, I always loved the shape of the shoe. I thought the shape was ill. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say they don't like the tongue. They say that's weak, but to me, that's symbolic. Well, they say it's symbolic of Jordan with his tongue. I, you know what I'm saying? You know that nigga come through the lane with his tongue out. And they say that's what that's symbolic of. I thought that was fucking cool. You know what I'm saying? This the first shoe with that, that weave or the, the mesh upper. You know what I'm saying? They were playing around with the weaves and the mesh upper was way, way back in the day. The shoe just ahead of his time. Maybe still for this day, like, they might have to come back with this bitch in fucking 2035 and niggas might be ready for it then type shit. It always looked futuristic to me, like, this, this, this part, like, this overlay right here, I always thought that was cool as hell. This leather how it comes down and, you know what I'm saying, it's a, it's a sleek design. I always thought it was a sleek Slick ass looking shoe, but people do not fuck with the 15. So, you know what I'm saying? For the sake of the video, I guess I just had to throw it in there as one of the worst shoes of my collection. What, what motherfuckers may or might say, but I don't know. I fucks with them. Fuck, this one, this definitely got down one of my favorite shoes in the collection. Easy. I know I'm gonna be giving away a Funko Pop. Um, this weekend on live, Friday on live, so make sure y'all tune in, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, for my fan of yours, bro, out of this bitch, <laughs> on the mob. Peace. Mob, mob, wet, 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 mob, mob,